Hi everyone. I wanted to discuss uh, minimally invasive surgery for Morton's neuroma. Uh, Morton's neuroma is a condition where the nerve that runs in a certain part of the foot uh, for some reason gets inflamed and starts to become larger. As the nerve becomes larger and is more irritated, it causes pain, uh, particularly when you're walking. Most patients will complain of the pain uh, when walking in shoes, but not when they're, wear, when they're walking barefoot. And that is actually very important in making the diagnosis because many times if you have pain when you're walking barefoot, it's usually another condition known as metatarsalgia, uh, which is, um, has a completely different uh, approach to treatment. So there are two main locations um, where we usually see an aroma. And if I show you on the model here, so this is a foot, okay? And the nerve that gets irritated um, and then becomes an aroma usually runs between each one of the bones that you see here. And the two main locations are number one, this area here called the third web space and much less frequently um, in this region here called the second web space. And patients will typically complain of almost like an electrical pain uh, irradiating to the toes, starting roughly at the ball of the foot and then again shooting up to uh, the two toes. How can you treat this? The uh, main treatment uh, to uh, consider when you're first starting to have these symptoms is called a Morton's pad or a metatarsal pad. It's a little soft bump really that you put inside your shoes and what it does is it pushes up those bones. Let me show you again here. So it pushes up those bones here and as it pushes them up it tends to open up the space between these two bones which is where the nerve runs. Um, I'm not a huge fan of injections uh, because they rarely cure the condition. And in some cases, they can actually cause some damage uh, to the soft tissues in the foot. The only type of injection that I nowadays consider is a diagnostic injection of some local anesthetic inside the nerve. And if the pain goes away completely with that injection, usually that's a pretty good sign uh, that the pain you're experiencing is actually coming from that neuroma. If you fail non-operative treatments, then surgery is an option. The mainstream procedure is called a neurectomy. It's a surgical procedure done through a, a one to two inch incision over the top of the foot most of the times, and the nerve is cut and removed. This will lead inevitably to permanent numbness between the, the toes of the area that's affected. Um, in a variable amount of patients, and this in the literature uh, has been reported to go from 5 to 30 percent, patients can get what's called a stump neuroma, which is a uncontrolled overgrowth of the nerve that is still in the foot um, after you've removed the enlarged part of the um, of the nerve and this nerve enlargement can cause a lot of pain and it starts to become quite difficult to treat uh, even with uh, a revision surgery this is what has led me to abandon this technique and uh, performing a minimally invasive uh, procedure. The minimally invasive procedure is done through a single uh, two millimeter incision. And what this consists of is, again, if I show you on the model, it consists of cutting, making a bone cut here. And when you cut the bone, this part of the bone automatically shifts outside. And by doing so, you can see it opens up the space between these two bones, which is the space where the enlarged nerve is. And so by giving that nerve more space, 
usually the nerve heals uh, on its own. Uh, I like it as a procedure because A, it's minimally invasive and therefore it's associated with less postoperative pain and much less risk of infection. Uh, I like it because it maintains the anatomy of the nerve and therefore you will not lose um, sensation between the toes. And lastly, it doesn't burn bridges. So in the event that the technique doesn't work, you could always convert it to the more traditional uh, procedure where you're excising the entire uh, nerve. So overall, it's my go-to procedure uh, for this. And um, again, prior to self-diagnosing yourself, make sure that you see an orthopedic uh, specialist um, with um, fellowship training in foot and ankle surgery uh, to make sure that you indeed have that diagnosis and that it, you're not mistaking it for another uh, type of condition, such as again, uh, metatarsalgia, uh, which has a completely different uh, treatment approach.